So this video is looking at putting pictures up onto your site and they're going to be held in galleries. So on here in the main page we need to click on galleries at the top there and you'll see that we've got our space to work in. Right now I haven't got any here so I'm going to go over to this top right bit to say create a gallery and then I get to choose the name of it. So for this one I'm going to call it inspiration and I'm going to create that gallery and then I can start to upload my work here. Um, so you'll see that there's the upload tool at the right. There's a little bit telling you about the type of files that you can put up. So when you click that upload, you open up a window into your computer and then you're just going to scroll through and find the pictures that you want to put online. Remember you've only got 30 pictures in this free version so you really want to be picking your best ones especially if this is a portfolio for going to art college, going on to a fashion course or you trying to get business if you're a makeup or a hair student. So that's just uploading that little sunset image that I had there. It'll depend on your internet connection how quickly that works and then when that's finished it's going to come up with a box for me to put some more information in about that picture and um, so it's really up to you how much you're going to choose to put here I think it's a good idea to give it a title um, so that people who are looking at it understand what this picture is of or what is it going to mean to you and the same in the comments box even just a little sentence to explain maybe what the style was or how it inspired you or why you did this particular picture because it just kind of sets the scene these ones here, width, height, year and price, are about if it's a piece of artwork that you're going to sell. So I'm not going to fill them in because this isn't a piece of artwork, this is a photo, but you could do that. And you could add some tags as well if that was something you're into. So when you're happy with that, you click the save here. That saved that picture into that gallery. And the other little bit of editing you can do down here is you can change the name if you think actually it's maybe not as good as I thought and you can put a little description of the gallery which I think is a good idea again if you're going to give this address out to possible employers or to people you know on courses that you want to apply to they're not going to be totally aware of why you've put these pictures together and what they really mean so just a sentence here will help them this little bit here client name would be if you had worked for somebody famous so if you've done artwork for the NHS or if you had done a series of paintings for somebody that commissioned you you would want to drop that name in there so now that we're happy, we've got all our details, we're going to go back up to galleries and just have a look at how it's looking now. So inspiration is there. I've got my one picture of the sunset. Cravado automatically gives you this My Work Gallery, but you don't need to keep it called that. So you can just go in and edit it. Same thing down here and you can change the name to whatever you want. So I'm going to put fashion here. Um, but I don't have any fashion images right now because I'm maybe just starting out with my course. But I'm putting that aside so I know there's going to be a gallery ready for that. So back at galleries, now I've got two. I've got my inspiration one and I've got this fashion one which is going to stay empty for a little while.